Hello and welcome, this is STR Rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Let's go ahead and hop in and see what we can do here. Do a little bit of harvesting. I've had the game up and running for a couple minutes um, Take things. while I was you should be proud of getting all the prepped you to stream. Brewed. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot though. But we'll double check. Yeah, a lot of these things I set up to grow just before ending the previous stream, so I'm not expecting too much more. Okay. And let's see. I think I've already done all the upgrades as well. No unidentifieds. And that should probably be it. All right. Um, so I'm thinking today I'd like to start with a couple of quests and then we'll come back to the room of requirement and, um, I'm actually kind of interested in doing a, uh, main story quest perhaps, or one of the side quests we've already got on here. Um, let's see, Salt by the Bell, and Demi got it, so... Let's just try this one. So, the Hippogriff marks the spot. Henrietta's map portrays castle ruins on a peninsula. Hippogriff, surrounded by flames, is also etched into it. Alright, let's see. I wonder if this actually shows up on the map, though. Thinking it might not. Uh, let's see. Here's the high keep mission. And... Let's see, um, actually let's go back to the quest menu and see if it actually has track on it. Okay. Track quest, and we have to use Henrietta's map. Alright. Let's actually be on inventory. There we go. All right, so there's a peninsula, and it looks like it's kind of down here at this little nub area. So let's look for it on the map. Okay, so it's like right here. Um, let's do this. Okay. Well, this is exciting. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Here we go. This took me right to it. Is this a landing platform? I think it is. Incendio. Can bring up. Here we go. See, I think this is it. I saw that looked like a hippogriff on the map. So I wonder if it's that one all the way down there. I bet it is, but I'm not quite where I need to be yet. Oh no, I'm way off. Okay. I suppose it's going to be this one. Hmm. What is this? I can't tell if it's is a spell or what. Revelio. Um, interesting. Let's look at the map again. Okay, so there's like a little arch, and then somewhere there's a hippogriff. Ah, 
Looks like maybe fire and glacius and we'll use some combination of that to get these things lit. Okay. I think I see now. I wonder if I've been down into this place before because I vaguely remember a hippogriff thing like this. Let's go up over here just to check it out, but I don't think there's anything. Oh, what are these? Oh, a dug box. Okay. Okay, we're not gonna mess the film. So, let's see, we're looking for the archway. Hey, it's what's her face. Nothing over here. Interesting, there is a box that we could Leviosa. Okay. Alright, well, I think it's pretty clear. It's gotta be through here. Revelio. I wonder if it's Expelliarmus or Reparo. Hmm. Expelliarmus would be this, so. I mean, it does look a lot like Reparo, doesn't it? But it's not really a hammer either. Reparo. Revelio. Well, I wonder. This kind of looks like Merlin. Oh, I see flame now, so. Expelliarmus. Can these be lit? I know that that's not going to start a fire, but. Confringo. Oh, that should have done it, I think. Um. Hmm. Well, I wonder if this is just something I can't do yet. Oh, I've got to take out these different pots. Okay, I see now. I didn't even see that icon in the upper right. Wow, okay then. Revelio. I can't believe I missed all that. Revelio. Rebellion. Okay, I saw one out over this way. Get it. I wonder if I went to Levioso um, crate thing to get some of the last ones. Okay, there's two more. This will be the last one. That's pretty intense. Oh, I wonder if I can cut this with Defendo. Defendo. Nope. Interesting. Battle Arena. Whoa. This will be fun. The South Coast Battle Arena. I hope I have enough stuff. Some of these explodey things regenerate. Oh, shoot. 
Sorry, I asked for that one. Oh no, come on now. That was lame. Arrest the moment. Is this the first wave? Let's take them on one at a time. Set my plants to be the jar. Okay, good. We'll definitely use more of them for this. No, you okay. Hit on me there. Man, these are getting too close for comfort. Ooh. I had to take a breath after all this fighting. Um, Good year. Um And how about a Thunder Bee? Nice. See, is that last week? No, oh, final wave. Okay. Do 
One of these. And one of these. And one of these. And how about another thunder? Just get everything we can from that some wings. Hey, we can go ahead and get one of these. There it is. Oh, nice. This is a great time to use our potions. Okay. Um, what else we want to do? Another one of these would be good. And how about an Endurus? Let's get this extra safe. Morning potion going. And how about you are terribly out there? Good for you. Yeah. Now we can focus on the big guys. Man, this is so tough. Alright, come on, gotta get this tumble up. Wow, that potion did so much damage in such a short amount of time. I can't talk, I'm too excited. That was a great warm up. Dang. Interesting that it has a menu here. Well, that was so cool. Um, wonder if that, how much that leveled me up. Oh, I think I did level up. Awesome. Uh, let's see. I don't think I'm too interested in removing requirement upgrades and the stealth. Let me double check. I'm not sure I care about that one too much, but somewhere between core, dark hearts, and spells probably is where I want to land. The more powerful Confringo sounds nice. I just don't use Expelliarmus enough. Like I feel like these are a little bit situational, really. Um, so three of these I won't use. Um, for sure. So we got one, two, and then seven. So that would be nine. And then probably any of these six. Um, let's see, four, five, six. So that's 15. And I think there's roughly 13 points left available to me. Um, Cause I want to say it caps out at level 40 uh, in this game, unfortunately. So let's see. 
feel like either of these are a little bit um, unnecessary. Like I feel like my Protego is decent. That might be nice. Charging the ancient magic meter is always nice. And that other one, the ancient magic throw, catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. Um, not positive about how great that is. Like, that feels a little bit situational. Um, I think, since I've only graded three of these, I'd like to get another spell looking good. Um, that direct blast sounds cool. That might be pretty neat. But I think that the one I'm interested in is going to be this Confringo one, the fiery bolts that seek enemy targets. Let's go for it. Okay. I just love to be that much better at combat because it's uh, nice. Okay. So we're still looking for a treasure. So we actually didn't complete um, this mission. I wonder if I went to the right place. Maybe I did not. Let's look one more time. So, inventory. Alright. Let's look again. Um, there's kind of this little shape and another one kind of pointing at it in this dark region, the water region. So maybe I'm not looking completely on the right spot on the map. Let's just zoom in again. Yeah, I think I must have went to somewhere different. Do to do. Fits down here. There it is. This has got to be it. It's the only thing that makes sense. Um, yep, because here's the two shapes touching. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Let's have a warp. Oh, cool. I'm glad I accidentally got into that battle arena. That was really cool. Who lives here? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel... Oh, let me see. Okay. I thought I saw a new year indicator, but no. Okay, troll. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Let's see. Knowing a meat, he's likely studied here. Likely this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark. It's not dark? Hmm. I wish that there was a clock when you're on the map. At least I don't I don't think there's a, a sun and moon indicator. Let me look one more time. Yeah, I don't see one. But well, that would be perfect. It's like a little soon and 
sun and moon indicator that just shows like how far the sun is up or down and the moon when time comes. I mean, like I think Jorah's Mask did it, so this game could do it too. <laughs> All right. Okay, stars are out. Surely it's nighttime now. Come on, nighttime. I wonder if I already solved this one. Let me look. I didn't think, uh, I th thought it would warn me. I mean, I don't see. Let's see. Okay. I'll wait just a little bit longer. Like, I feel like maybe I did do this, but, you know, this map was showing is undiscovered earlier um, when I was flying over here, so I don't understand why it would do that. There goes the moon, so let me just go check one more time. If it still doesn't go, then it could just be a glitch and we'll move on. Yeah, I don't know. It's gotta be a glitch or something that seemed weird. What do you have in store for me this time? Okay, Henrietta. Ah, yeah, this is the place I'm into. Yeah, here we go, because I've already done this hippogriff. I just didn't know how to light it in a certain way. Yeah, okay. It's like, why is this so familiar? It's because it is. Um, okay. So kind of behind it said lit the other wing and then kind of down to the right. Okay. Do 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 do. This one needs to be lit. Confringo. And let's see, this one needs to be lit. Out. And this one needs to be lit. Confringo. I think. Let's see, I might have one extra here. Ah, oh, there's four. Okay. It's the one directly in front that I accidentally lit, I think. Ah, yep. I wonder if I hit two or something, I swear. Places. I don't think I did that on purpose. Let's see what we've got. Rebellio. Um oh it's back here. Oh, look at this cool little thing. This must be what all the fuss was about. A treasure seeker, okay. That's it. It was an appearance, right? Uh, yeah, here it is. A pair of gloves for the consummate adventurer earned by following a map to the secret treasure. Yeah, this looks kind of cool. Let's see a little bit more customization. Might want to find some other stuff to wear. Some kind of steampunkish looks, don't we? These look very Harry Potterish. We'll go with the Zonko's chief prankster spectacles. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? 
Oh yeah, that helmet is pretty funny. It's been a while since I looked at all the different stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see. Crimson hat. Byzantine beret. Patchwork sorcerer. I do you like the top hats? They're interesting. I haven't really found one of the uh, more traditional wizard or witch hats that I liked. Oh, that one looks kind of cool. I might do it for a little bit. The dark herbologist. So many cool hat designs out there. Need to get me some. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um, let's see. Neckwear. Yeah, bear with me. This is just a impulse to uh, check all these out. This looks kind of like a neat amulet, you know. A treasure seeker scarf too. Let's get out to the bottom. Celtic brush stroke. It's interesting how some, you know, lay over both shoulders and others, you know, apart in front. Ah, that's kind of cool. The purple. Not much of a scarf person, except for when it's really, really cold, but um, a lot of these look like it would be really interesting, uh, almost vintage style, you know, that could sell well today. I wonder if they're already selling any of these in their life, like the designer of these things. Um, well, I kind of like the Treasure Seekers scarf too, so I think I'll go with it. This runic row might be like the perfect look to go with all this too. We'll see in a moment. Beast Rescuer. That one reminds me of Poison Ivy from the Batman and Robin movie. I think Uma Thurman played her. Classic. Scholar's Robe. Oh, Poacher Coat. Okay. Majestic School Robe. Golden trend. Decorative. It's neat how they're in my house as well. More school. Lots of school. A daring cloak. And a corduroy. That one looks like more dressy than I think I like. I actually really like the runic robe. I think it goes kind of well with the treasure set. Nobilis. Geometric house cloak. Well, it is pretty good looking. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the runic robe. I think it just fits really, really well with the rest of it. Um, now for the outfit. What are we on right now? Let's see. Gray Adventure on Ensemble. Okay. Top of the class. <laughs> dark Arts. Oh, now that looks pretty sharp with the Dark Arts Ensemble. Protectors. See Hogwarts Regalia, Ashwinder. This actually reminds me of clothing that like Link from maybe Breath of the Wild would wear or something. P 
Pretty sure none of the uh, school uniforms are going to be the cons that I want. Just kind of quickly go through them. Yeah, I'll skip all the school ones. Probably. Okay, these are getting a little bit more not school. Oh, letting other students, yeah. So these are silly uniforms. Are these all uniforms? No, some of them are not. Dark smithing attire. You yeah, know, that's, that's kind of interesting. Rustic garb. Relaxed. Some of these are a rapscallion. <laughs> a gray adventure ensemble. Ah, I think that's got to be it. That's, that's got to be it. I think that we checked everything else out and we came back to where we were. And it was just, it was that good. Yeah. Okay. Well, I actually really like my outfit. This, uh, this is fun and interesting. We'll play with the face wear on and off. I'm not positive I'll keep it or the headwear, but, um, you know, while we're having an adventure, we'll just keep it up. All right. Another mystery solved, gang. Okay, let's see. Um, I think it's time for the room of requirement. I'm well past you for ideal generations, so. Uh, let's go ahead and fly up here so we get a nice waypoint. And we might check out the other one too. Could it be a Merlin trial? Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, this looks like a race course. Wonder if that's what this is. Hey, if it is, we'll go ahead and try it. I don't see a prompt though. Is it here? No, this is leeches. Um. Yeah, maybe it's not available yet. I think there were beasts back there. It's like some dug bogs. Hey, buddy. What's up? Everything all right? Far from it. I wandered into a ruin and was attacked by spiders. Oh. If you've got some Wiganweld potion, though, I'm sure that would put me right. Spiders do tend to appear in ruins. Here, I have enough to spare. Stay away from the ruins, though. You've saved me life. Oh, I can never repay you. Yes, yes, I shall stay away from them. You'll see. Must stay away from ruins. With spiders. Ruins with spiders. <laughs> oh, and thank you. Please accept this token of my appreciation. Yeah, poor guy is going to be traumatized for life. Alright, let's see if we can get to our room requirement now. Here we go. Alright, we're at plenty to, uh, you should be proud of all the potions. to grab here. I had to do some potion brewing because I am officially um, you know, out of a lot of my stuff. I'm going to have to do some plant harvesting and whole 
Nine yards. Oh no, I meant to go down here. Um, let's see. Pet? Food? There we go. Alright, come here, little buddy. Here you go. Give you some food. Now let me take some of your fur. Here you go, little buddy. Give me your fur. Give me your warts. Oh, sorry, buddy. Uh, settle yourself. I totally hit the wrong no button. All right, Mr. Toad. Sorry about that. We're just testing your loyalty. Oh, he's mad at me now. Uh, okay. No, he's mad. Not really so, buddy. Um, let's see, another post scheme. No oh, post scheme. Where'd you go, buddy? That's it. Oh, that's an easel. We got another one. Hey, Wiz, how's it going? Doing well, how are you? All right. Big thing. See. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I think we'll have a few more things to grab. Do do do. Ah, that's well, just a little cough. Sounds like you're getting better. I think we should probably brew a few. I know we're down, so it's just been a little while. I was like, what was it I was seeing? <laughs> All right, so we need three Aduras. So let's just start with that, I suppose. I think we'll do at least two. We'll get everything up to like 11. And um, three focus potions, three maximums. Maybe we'll go with that to start. focuses now. And let's see, where does it put us? One thunder brew. And that'll get us mostly caught up and that'll leave room for our hopping pots to get us something. So take a little bit longer. And 26 seconds. Might as well wait for them. It's interesting how long Thunderbrew takes to make. Like it seems to be disproportionately longer than some of the other things. Okay. 
Apparently you didn't grow a lot of cabbages and stuff. Put some fertilizer on it. Helps replenish a little bit quicker. What else do we need? Um, to that kill us. We'll fertilize them as well. This game uses some really short render distance for caching objects. I just noticed that my tentacula spawn out from this distance. Like, that's crazy. I'm really curious because, like, I think that, you know, Animal Crossing kind of struggles with custom layouts of graphical objects and very curious if it's just like they put too many polygons into the models and there's this unexpected rendering difficulties when you have uh, too many objects with too many polys and this the game has to kind of give up because like to me it just seems strange that these would despawn so quickly like everything in this room you think would be viewable but maybe they traded little things like that so that you can have more furniture in the room um you know like i said no complaint but just very curious um what the budget is and stuff Take things. okay um let's see here actually wanted to take a little time to look at room requirements um, decoration while we're here too because I don't know if I'll spend you know super long amount of time on it but um, I'd like to see just what are some more of the possibilities here and for this I think when I go like to about changing for ambience. ambience of course huh? yep bring sort of all kinds of potions again today. To you. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I think warm and cozy like might be the be warm, color. Com it's nice. It was like midday oh. instead of a bright, sunshiny uh, morning. Yeah, this is good. So this is a little bit more sparkly. I like it. I never to get these um, chopping stations in a nice spot either. So, hmm. I wish this room was more square. I wonder if there's something else to do here. They're all going to be the same size. Okay. Um, well, let's see. I can maybe all fit in here. Let's take this out first and then we'll take it back. And we'll push it just a little bit. Nope, too much. Um, let's see. Nope, oh, come on. Nope, too much. Okay, let's just try it here for a minute. And. Take this out for a minute. And now let's see if we can get these traffic stations kind of situated back here somehow. I wonder if we can turn them short ways. Yeah, there we go. It'll be really tight, but it's kind of like who cares as long as it lets me collect, right? Here we go. Take things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I wonder if we'll be able to get this back here or not. Okay. I guess not. Okay. So let's see about conjuring stuff to the walls. Um, let's see, potion brewing stuff. We already got that taken care of. Herbology stuff, by and large. I think that we've got everything that we want for it. Um, yep. And utility. That's the description. The loom. Material refiner. 
Yeah, moonstone. Yeah, okay. Now wall hangings. Um, I just still don't have a whole lot. I mean, I could put a few of these things up, I suppose. But let's see what else is on here. I don't know if I like a stack skull, so let's try a Quidditch board. See what they look like. That's gotta go on a big screen or a big wall. Okay. And how about how about when you look at the keg shell? Oh, it's big, real big. Um, maybe we can get it behind the loom. Oh no, it needs space in front of it too. Okay. It doesn't have to make perfect sense. We'll just put it there. Um, let me get this moonstone. Since it takes 10 minutes. Okay. And... What about a flower box? How big are they? They're nice and small. Could have one on either side, but maybe down here with, you know, some of our plants would be a nice appropriate place. Hmm. Just put it on the other side of the bookshelf. Can we go all the way? Looks like maybe not. Okay. We'll just do three then. Surprisingly, can't go on there. Okay. Um, let's see. Winged mirror, oval mirror, and a long mirror. How big is this one? Oh, that's not that big. Oval ones. I don't really think I like the mirrors that much in this one because they're just like silver plated and they don't actually work to, at least I don't think so. Which makes sense because, you know, Mirrors are really hard in games, like it, it's uh, graphically difficult, so I think I'll hold off on those. But let's see what else there is to send out here. Um, we got wall hangings, we have rugs, and you know, some of these rugs actually might be pretty cool. I actually kind of like the floor right now, so let's see in here what we can get going. Um, wonder if we could put it like here and then we'll go in and manipulate it a little bit here. Um, there we go. Let's see. Size. Alright. Let's see if we can just put it, I don't know, kind of like this. Okay. Might be a tiny bit offset, but that's alright. Oh, a lot of things are coming up to you soon. We've already got Max Mandrake. Let's see what else we can pick up. No, that one's not ready. Okay, five more minutes. We'll come back. Okay. Um, now there was something else I wanted to try. We've got through the rugs and furniture. Scientific cabinet. All these cabinets will be interesting. Um, and a dressing screen. Let's see. I don't know how much other of those would matter. But I'm going to get rid of this less comfy chair. I'm going to keep the more comfy one. Um, a little bit over a little bit though. And we'll get out one of the um, dressing screens and put it like right here. It'll be kind of just a visual hider for the cabinet so you don't have to like look at it if you're sitting or you're just lounging. Okay. Kind of breaks up the room a little bit. And uh, 
Let's see what else can we conjure up here. I don't think there is any other furniture we want to do. Decorations. Ornamental stand. Armillary. Uh, some knights. The horned knight. Stuffed toy dragon. Gold or Brawl AG trophy. Let's see. I don't want to spawn one of these actually. Ah, oh, now that looks way cooler than the lamps I had before. Um, let's put it here and here. Like, I think I like that way better. Let me check out these others while I'm at it. Yeah, that looks just a little bit too, you know, like just like an electric light, and this looks almost like it's electric light, but I'd much rather have these really cool floating candle lights instead um i might be able to put that there but I'm, i bet it would make my harvesting be interfered with um i could put them at the beginning of each row i think that could look pretty cool and ultimately i could pull those tables up a unit and put them at the end instead if we want to rearrange um We'll put a couple candles over here, but at a little bit of a distance as if we want to maintain some safety um, away from the chemicals. Uh, we'll fine tune things later once we're sure we like where they're at. But, okay. So, let's go replace the scientific ones that are up here first and then we might make it evening again so we can enjoy the light of it all oh i think this might be a, a glitch i think that, that color isn't what it's going to be if i reload i wonder if it does that again no it makes it blue um, you should be proud of all the that's gotta be a glitch, right? Let me see. It's gotta be. Hmm. Okay. Um, so one more. Oh, that's the wall. All right, and what else we have to do? I think that got most of them. Okay, hopping pots, a bridge also, nice. Oh, there we go. And what else we gotta do? Oh yeah, we need to change it back to nighttime. Oh, one more. Here's another one. I knew we had another one. Okay. Deeks, no herbology professor. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Eh. Min Moonlight Dark Mystery Syria. I think it'll like be the most uh, dramatic hmm. look. Okay, good. I think this is what I was really um, hoping for. Like, let's go see how it looks on here. Yeah. Yeah, this looks pretty boss. Oh, I love it. Now uh, it's got a little bit of a, uh, you know, charm to it all. Um, let's see what else we can conjure. Um, I don't think there is much else out of here. Like, Maybe I'll find a home for these knights later on, though. It would be pretty cool. Um, let's see, Niffler and Witch. We've got a Gazing Wizard. Um, 
What else do we have? A bickering couple portrait. A nurse and baby. House elves and mistress. Gazing witch. Stone monument. Magical monuments painting. Cottage illustration. And a gnome. Oh, uh, you know, we gotta put a gnome or two up here. It'll be like overwatching our harvest. Put one on either side. They're tending to the flock. Alright. Um, let's see. Stone monument. Or the magical monuments. Hmm. Can make them kind of opposing the uh, stations over here. That way, there's a little bit of something to look at on your side that you're on. Um, let's just take a peek at these others. Niffler and the witch. The gazing wizard. Dapper Wizard, the Bickering Couple, the Nurse and Baby, House Elves and Mistress, Gazing Witch. Okay. Gazing Wizard sounds interesting. Um, how about we put it in here somewhere? You should be proud about this one. It's a, kind of a big one. It's kind of like that keg that we have over there, you know? Alright, let's see. We've already explored these a little bit. Um, tables. Now, I do feel like downstairs they could use a table somewhere. And maybe I'll eliminate. Well, I don't know. is hard. Maybe I could put a table here that's uh, purpose would be kind of like transferring plants or something. Let's see if we can get around it still. Yeah, yeah I can get around that. So that'll just be kind of, you know, decorative like maybe this area requires special handling or a good place to put your chemicals and water tank and stuff like that. Or whatever. All right. Um, let's see. Let's just check the last thing or two. A unicorn statue and a Niffler statue. Let's do the unicorn out here. Gotta have them. I can make it almost as if it's coming out of the vivarium. Well, yet. That's pretty far. Vibarium like projects out. Pretty far. Okay. There we go. I think that'll look cool. And what about our Niffler? Wonder if we can sneak it back here. did it a second ago. Let's see if we can do it again. I just need to slow down. I can feel it snapping like I can see it. There we go. There we go. That'll be kind of funny and silly to have. Alright, seasonal. Christmas tree. Let's see. I think we're currently in fall, right? So I might wait a little bit longer for that. All right, well, I think that was a good amount of decoration. Um, we got quite a few rounds of stuff done there. 
I forgot to do the chopping station earlier. Let's see if we have anything we can upgrade now. We need a grab horn horn. A couple things. Need to get a phoenix, and I think I saw where to catch scrap horns earlier. I think it was in the southeast, near where I was doing that um, challenge. So let's go. Let's go uh, look again. Let's see. Is this where it was? No, that was the measles. Um, I remember there was like a coastline, kind of. Maybe it was actually over here when I was in the wrong area. Is it over here? No, purple toad again. Hmm. Where were they? It would have been coastal. What about this? Jobber knoll, okay. Huh. Oh, thanks, Wiz. Have a good night. Measles. And... I really don't know. I, I just remember there was like a kind of rocky area and nothing, nothing seems to be clicking. What about over here? Maybe moon calf. Nifflers. Okay. Gotta be out here somewhere. Purple toad. Floopers. Chabernal. I know I've looked over a couple of these more than once, but... Ah, maybe this is it. No. This is back at here at us. Let's see. Chabernal. I just feel like I'm missing a coastal area that I've been to before. Maybe it was north of Hogwarts. Estral. Or where was the southeast? There was the southeast, you know, arena thing that I went to, and it was over here, I think, right? Yes, and then I swear somewhere along this area where the beast I don't know though. Wonder if they don't show on the marker, perhaps. Or like on one of the markers. Okay then. Um, let's see. I'm trying to just decide where I want to go. Do another couple quests. Hmm. How about let's look around here a little bit. There's quite a step quite a few species in the forbidden forest. Um let's see. Wish I knew where the Phoenix was. Let's see. 
Unicorn Den. Oh, here's something. Hippogriff, okay. Well, let's see a whole lot more. Okay then. Um, yeah, I should just pick something. Good number of four clumps. How about we do one of these treasure vaults? That sounds fun. Maybe I'll do a couple of them. So looks like there's a few of them available out there. How nice to see you, my young friend. This one's really close. This looks intriguing. Looks like it's gonna be guarded. Oh. By Fury, no less. Let's do... Um, how about... Keep that up there. We'll keep this over there. That there. And... A Glacius. I'm not sure if Glacius will actually work, but we'll see. Incendio! Confringo! Defendo! Incendio! Confringo! Well, took out a few of those pretty quickly. Incendio! Wow. That did really well. Alright. Ah, oh, level 3 unlock. Really? 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 Hmm. I guess I need to do some of the Simi Gods missions, huh? Maybe, uh, next stream session we'll make it a mission to get just enough of those to get to level 3 unlock and call it a day. I do feel that that's one of my biggest complaints with this game is uh, the Alohomora spell here, being not only tiered but locked behind like a really arbitrary and kind of frustrating quest. Um, it is strange. Oh, it's not going to let me unlock it. Okay, nice. Nice. I should investigate. Ooh, nice and dark down here. What is this? Wait, is that it?
Did I get... Okay, I got a gear. Okay. I was just really confused. I was like, that's it? Okay. I forgot how short these are. Um, I think I was confusing it with another quest. So, okay. That's all right. Okay. Yeah, it's off the map. Everything's good. Um... Hmm. I wonder where the other, like, another interesting space to go to would be. I don't want to do that one right now. It's a main quest, after all. Um, hmm. I don't want to do that. How about... Um, the little moon calves. Um, let's see. Just looking kind of around the coastline again because I'm determined to remember where I saw those grab horns. Still feel like it was like way out here. Yeah, let's let's just warp over here and look, cause I'm just gonna keep thinking about it if I don't go look. I so, feel like there was something out over this way. If not, maybe we'll find another flu flame Holy network indeed, your or two. Field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Yeah, this feels kind of like the spot. Oh uh, yeah, I think this is it. Oh, maybe they weren't grab horn. Maybe I was seeing this Merlin trial. It's here. I bet that's what it was. Is this the Reparo one? I wonder if this is one you have to do in a certain amount of time. Maybe not. I guess there's another one somewhere, huh? Oh, let's go get it. That's that. Settled. Alright, Marilyn. I got you, buddy. At least I got one done on stream. Sometimes I resist the, the impulse to do it and then I wish that I, I had done it. Right, I just feel like this has got to be it. Rebellion. I hope it's not Doug Box. Is it measles? I wonder if it's a time of day thing. Nope, it's crap horns. I knew they were around here somewhere. Let's see. Um, I guess about the best thing I could do is go invisible, I suppose. Just go walking around. I 
I wonder if I can catch them, or maybe I can't catch them yet. Let's go ahead and assign. That way you don't accidentally zap it and it runs off or something. Come here, grab horns. I'm gonna fly away, see if they come in. I just feel like I saw one of them down this way. Ah, uh, it looks like the sun's setting, so maybe they'll come back in there at night time. Here we go. Let's go up to that one while we're waiting. This looks like trouble. What was that sound? Oh yeah. We'll get out of there. Okay. Back to our other spot. Come on, please be there. Come on. Not yet. I wonder if they arrive in a certain season, perhaps. I could see the game making you wait to catch them for some reason. Um, hmm. Let me see if I can find it online real fast. So, hang tight. Okay, let's see. Ah, okay. I won't be able to get them for a while longer, I think. I think that when I read online, I had to do a specific quest first. And what little I read of it, to avoid spoilers, it sounded like I hadn't done it yet. So, yeah, it's after this final seeker. So, yeah, I can't do it right now. That's why I'm not seeing one. Interesting that it's restricted like that. Um, let's see if we can belt out this one real quickly. And... Um, let's see, musical map to find the treasure. I think this might be inside of Hogwarts, but I'm not positive. Musical map, musical map, where are you? Okay, uh, let's see. So, this is that same area we've been to before. Um, which is actually right here. Maybe, where is it though? What is this thing? Crycroft, okay. Um, let's go back here again. Nope, wrong thing. Back, 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 back. Man, I am just all thumbs, okay. So look, so it's somewhere in the middle. Let's just get up in the air. Okay, 
Let's see. Let's check out the map. Looking like it could be more towards that way. I don't think it would be this place, because... This looks like the spot from the treasure map. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, I see the bells now. Not my mother, mind. It's time to kill like a billion people first. I've heard. Especially. Defender. Good bring them. Incendiary. Okay, let's uh, have us a push in and we'll throw out a cabinet or two. Afraid of a little magic? You'll want to do that. Incendium. Can us. Expose yourself. Leave your greens out and you'll feel next to pay the burn. Uh, let's see. There we go. This will help with shields. Here we go. Take out one. Incendium. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Who do we have left? Wow, the cabbage is in the time. Okay. Revelio. Um, we'll do the puzzle and probably an inventory run and the room of requirement, and then we'll call it a day. Um, looks like I still got another fight or two to do that before this place is fully cleared. Do you really think you can? How'd you guys miss that fight? That was a big one. I'm sure your boss is doing that if you realize you're tardy. Sorry, I'm feeling a little bit overpowered. Again. Where are our bells? Here we go. Assume we play them from this angle. Um, but we gotta check out the map. I don't know exactly how to read this music. Um, but I'm gonna take a picture on my phone so that I can refer to it. So I assume that those are double notes or something on the same thing, but let me just see. Maybe it'll Rebellion. do a special color or something. Okay. Okay, this is the second one. That one is in the middle line. This is on, uh, let's see, this one, and then a note lower than that, or here we go, and, um, do do do, this one is on the line. On which one? One, two, three. Sorry, it's so small. 
two, three, one, two, three. Here we go. And I don't think we do it twice. Okay, so this one's up very top. Okay, and um, one lower than the top. And Perhaps the map contains clues about the order I'm supposed to ring the bells in. Oh, I guess, I guess I didn't get it quite right. Um, let me look at it a little bit closer. Yeah, this is so hard to see. Um, one second. I want to edit the photo to crop out the parts that I don't need to worry about and that might help my eyes focus. It's just that elements are just far enough apart. I might look up the order online because it's hard to map it um, on the phone and on the screen at the same time. Okay, let me try again. So, we need to do the middle and then on the third line which is this one. Okay. And then on the fourth line, which is above it. And then in the middle above the second. The middle above the second. One, two, three. Okay. And Let's see. It looks like on the second line from the bottom. So that would be one, two, three. Okay. And on the very top. Okay. And then one step down from that, like Looks like this one. Okay, and let's see, this will be at the two and a half mark. So this is the next one from the top, the two and a half mark. Just want to make sure I got this right. So got all the way there, one, two and a half. Two and a half, so third one. That did it. Ah, uh, totally the Harry Potter theme music. Revelio. Awesome. And look, treasure. Treasure Seeker's long coat. Oh, cool. That was really fun. That was difficult, too. Uh, let's see. Treasure Seeker's Long Coat. Ah, I think I like it. I like the purple scarf, too, so I think we'll do it. Um, Alright, let's see what we can swap out here and... If we need to go sell anything. I think we've got a lot of slots left though. We've got 4, 8, 12, 16. We've got 20 slots. I mean, I don't think it's worth going out. Oops. Let's get back in here. I don't think any of these are going to be worth it. But we could do the upgrades towards our challenges. I'm amazed we didn't complete a single challenge tonight. I thought for sure we would get something... All right, let's see what's in here. Okay. Who do we have for new people? Oh yeah, Sylvanus Sulin. Born to a life of privilege, but not born early enough to inherit it. Sylvanus Sulin was known for his expensive and extravagant lifestyle. 
who said that he would do anything to destroy the good reputation of his distinguished family. Sylvanus was the one who opened doors to influential people for Rookwood. I'm using uh, past tense there quite a bit. Okay, and inventory, what do we got here? More tongue, okay. Um, let's see, I feel like it was one other thing I wanted to check in here. Yes, we do want to do one more harvest at the remove requirement because I do have a fair bit of stuff that um, needs replenishing still, so. We'll do this harvest and uh, probably call it a stream after that. I put us a little bit over an hour and a half, probably about an hour 40 by the end of it. Okay, let's use up this focus potion. It's not really going to matter, a big, big deal really, because we've almost got that back anyways. Um, let's see if we can enhance any of this stuff. All right, good. And we'll just put on something cheap. And what else can we do? Here we go. Okay, I think that's that. And see if we have any unidentifieds. Nope. Um, hey, here's some stuff. Alright. Love the new unicorn. <laughs> Let's see. We'll go back over here. It's be good to kind of work towards our cushion table. And we are good on mandrakes. Alright, let's see. We really only need an Endurance Potion. I don't know if it's worth brewing it right now since we'll have a pretty good chance of getting one with our hopping pots as is. So. Um, I do want to do a little bit of rearranging in here because I think it would be nice to do what I was talking about earlier with having the um, lamps in the back. I think it would go right here. No, that's okay. We can adjust it. Nope. We don't want that. We want this. Hmm. Is that close? No. It's going to go over a little bit more. That's got to be the minimum right there. But... Okay. Hmm. Will it go further back? It does. Let's see if we can move this one. Nope. I think it I hit the floor again. Let's get it here first. Now we'll pull it in. As high as we can go. Here we go. So good. Oh. See, I want to get it at least lined up with this one, I think. Okay, now this one will need this one, I think. Okay, 
Let's see. This one's showing up a little trickier than I thought. Oh. I think I undid both of my tables, didn't I? Ah. Let's see. Okay. Let's try again. Just, let's just have a nice go this one. And go ahead and bring this back. Okay. Now, let's just conjure up another one. That may be a little bit easier than oops, the steps I was going through before. There we go. I think that was overall a much better experience. So let's try that again. I guess part of mastering the Rumi requirement really is just learning what the quirks are, you know? Like I said, it's not bad, but man, I will say only being like maybe halfway as good or less than Animal Crossing, it makes you want more, you know? this table. Is it flush with the other one? No, I think that other one is possibly, maybe possible we could go back further. It's hard to tell. Maybe not. Let's see. Oh, that can actually go further back. All the way to the wall. I don't know if these others would. Let's see. be possible just get these tables as close as can be. I don't think they're going to perfectly line anyways. Well, this could be so much better. Oh. oh no. Okay. That's going to be a really weird sound effect I hadn't heard before. Okay, let's do this first. Just a second. Come on now. Oh, it was doing it. Come on, quit being picky. There we go. Alright, I think that is as far back as I can go. Now, let's see if it'll let me do it here without having to move it all the way out. Ah, it's going to make me. I think it's going to be worth it. It's a lot of tinkering, but I think it's going to look so good. Um, I guess the room customization is starting to win me over. <laughs> okay. No, it keeps coming to the floor. There I go bragging about it. It starts acting up. if that's 100% optimal. It looks like it might be pretty close though. So. Um, so yeah, that's looking a lot better. Um, let's just do one more quick look, see if there's anything to harvest, but I don't think there is. There may be, I guess, animal interaction time possible, but we'll just leave it be for now. Um, let's 
go ahead and pick up some of this stuff. And only a minute left on those. Okay. I think that's a perfect place to uh, go ahead and roll credits for the day and say thanks for watching. This has been S tier rank. You can follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube, and I'll have an upload on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good one.